Okay, there we go. That's the speed. Unfortunately, it's now got a bugged out resolution. So do we have a borderless windowed? I guess let's just go windowed for a second. And then borderless? There we go. Okay, it still have my bottom bar. At least the enemies don't seem to be respawning anymore. Okay, this is some speed. I do appreciate how fast the character traverses the world. I still think you should be able to bike. Or something. I, I know there's a couple of level ups that you can get that actually speed you up as well. That's still... Let's see, new art screen. Yep! I made that last night. I, I'm i going to try and make a couple more while I'm on vacation. Well, vacation while I'm at PAX. But we'll see how that goes. Mainly, I'm going to be stuck in a plane for like 6-7 hours, so I might as well do some art while I'm there. I think my flight is at 9.30 and I get in at 5? But that means, you know, being in the... Uh... Whoa! Ow. Okay. Uh, worked in my favor, mostly. Hurt, but it's fine. Okay, so let's let's talk thoughts on this game. It's got the potential for something really good, but it is so, so painfully... I'm not going to say empty. There's stuff here. It's just there's so, so much padding. You know, I, I walk into a... Uh, we got to go down. I walk into a, a facility, you know, one of the bunkers, and it's a giant twisting mass of corridors and confusion. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Until I eventually, you know, find my way to a control room. I don't know how I got there. I shot a couple of bots on the way. Not enough to really justify how big it is. And then, you know, I walk into a room that I've been in before. I've never been in this specific room, but I've been in this room before because that's, you know, they're just reusing an asset. And then you hear somebody talking in Swedish. They tell you, you know, something went wrong. Everybody died. And then you kind of move on to the next location. And that's kind of how it's been the entire time. And it's unfortunate because, like, I actually legitimately do enjoy methodically, methodically, you know, running around and getting rid of every robot on the map. You know, I think the, I think the weak points being on the top was actually brilliant. You know, giving, giving a very specific weak point... That isn't just like a head is actually quite quite a lot of fun. Yep, oh, that one's that one's not alive. And so it's kind of fun, you know, finding out how to get in here. But it's the exact same fun that I would say I experience in every Ubisoft game I have played for years. Except for this one doesn't have a shovel. I should play Far, Far Cry New Dawn at some point. And yeah, you know, looting a lot of enemies is... T You've picked up an item! Thank you, tutorial. Real... Real late to the game there. Whoops. The enemies are downright deadly, though. I'll give it, I'll give it a lot of credit. There's, um, there's some serious tension that happens here. It is shooting me through the boards. Where his weak point is. 
Oh, there it is. It's on the back. Okay. Yeah, New Dawn was fun. The expeditions were a welcome new feature. I I was really sad that I was homeless when that game came out, because I actually did want to play it. Come on, turn around. And then stop moving. Please. This guy is way too fast. For what it is. The front or the back? Like, the robots are really cool. I like the idea of them. Oh. Hi. Let's see. Yeah, when I say homeless, I wasn't actually homeless. I was living out of, ho out of a hotel because we had to get into a new house. Because uh, the first house that we picked was yacht garbage. Like, one thing that would really set this game apart is if you could actually, like, blast arms off. Like, that would be really cool. I don't think you can do that, though. Let's see. Okay, there we go. He's got... Well, at least he's got a whole bunch of... Uh, ammo for the assault rifle. Okay, so... Find out what the reconnaissance team found out. There's the loot I found. Respawned? It might have. Let's see. I'm actually a little... Oh. Wait, I hit... I hit its goddamn tank. There we go. Okay. There we go. So what do we got? More goodies. I'm not finding any information though. Which has got me a little concerned. How many of you guys are even around here? Okay, well I don't... Oh. No, that's binoculars. Well, at least all the resources have come back and it looks like it is giving me like buttloads more ammunition. Now that I've quote unquote left the tutorial. How many of these guys are still here? It's like every time I walk out, there's like more people. Okay, that puts it at 70. One more gets us at 95. Okay. So yeah, nothing, no actual relevant items in here. Maybe it's up over in that section? Maybe? Nope. Empty as hell. Let's see, what else we got? Yeah, the gunplay in this game is solid. Like, for a semi-indie FPS, this is really fun. To, like, just run around and fight things. It's just like... Oh, what is going on with you? Ah, oh, this is the rock that reflects the skies. Let's see, this game does have a story. Uh, robot, Russian robots. Oh, wow, yeah, the, the textures have all gone reflective. Russian robots have invaded Sweden, and you're the only one left, apparently. Like, everybody else is just mysteriously zipped out of the universe. And you're trying to figure out where they went because you're lonely, I guess? 
It's not a very strong plot, but a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's it's all Swedish. And it's told, like, through audio logs and, you know, just bits and bobs of information that you pick up. Unfortunately, it's bits and, bits and bobs of, like, kind of information. Okay, here we go. Okay, so they're down here. But oh, that's payback. Or that is that is one of the ones I was working on. It was Beachhead. It's over and out. Find anything that shows the location of the second radio mass. So Oh, wait, no, I have no idea where that is. We might as well track Beachhead. Unfortunately, a lot of these side quests just straight up don't have markers associated with them. So you truly are just on your own finding them. Might not be a problem for some people, but considering how big the game is... Like... I kind of need those markers, because... Uh, apart from... I mean, this one's easy, but... Yeah, find information about the second naval tower. Uh, I mean, it's probably over here somewhere. I'll head for Beachhead just because. Yeah, sometimes plot doesn't need to be solid as long as the gameplay is good enough. Yeah, but I think this would need a, a much more like developed plot, I think, to... I'm gonna die if I go down there. We gotta we gotta take that. You know that road? Uh that I was kinda grumping about earlier. I guess this is the point of the road. It's so you actually have a safe way down. Okay. I guess it's up a layer, but it'll be fine. Let's see. Yeah, if I had time, I'd probably sit down and try and play through Far Cry, New Dawn, and uh, Metro Exodus. But as it stands, I've got... Oh, shoot. What's the what's the multiplayer Souls-like-ish game that comes out tomorrow? Yeah, it could be way worse. I only get to use preset maps in certain locations. No field maps, just a compass. Way worse. I, you're talking about Stalker, probably, or a couple other games? Uh, I mean, eh, ish. I don't know. I grew up with a whole bunch of, uh, I, I grew up with, a. Uh, it's not Sekiro. Uh, it's, uh, what's the game? Outward. Outward comes out tomorrow morning. Uh, like nine hours from now? Nine hours from now. Yeah. And so Outward comes out tomorrow, which I'm really, really jazzed about. That one seems amazing. And, like, between that, uh, co op with a vac, and just some other things, it's like, I don't, I don't have enough time to go back to those. Maybe once I get back? Definitely. That's the Souls like? Sort of. It has Souls like combat. Wait, Outward is out, out now if you pre ordered. Oh. Uh. I didn't actually see an option to pre-order. Yeah, you can't pre-order it on Steam, so I, I guess I have no idea. It's easier than a Souls game. Well, that's good. But yeah, I, I'm looking forward to playing Outward tomorrow. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is kind of sort of the bare minimum of Outward up until... Uh, up until I get back from my trip, and then I'll play it with Shell. Let's see, this is a Souls-type game. I think it just has Souls-like-ish combat. And that's the only real example. I think it's a much, like, more... Almost morrowind type game? I don't know. It doesn't look, like... Visually, it doesn't look amazing. But it looked fun. 
pipes. I don't know how you're supposed to get to this thing conventionally. Probably some other direction. The fact that it's just an immediate drop off there is kind of embarrassing. That like if I fall into that water, uh, I am out. Because, oh. yeah, I, I'm just going to slip into oblivion if I go down there. Anyway, beachhead. Is there another there? No. I'm getting really good at sniping those containers. Most of the time. Two shots tops. The fact that it can... turn a corner like that is kind of unfair. Not that big of a deal, but still. Ow. Oh, I see how these things got here. Guess I should probably heal at this point. Just stop reloading immediately. Okay. Now these are all just... If they look like they're ready to go. Let's see. Anyone that says Sekiro... Oh, hello. Anyone that says Sekiro is easier than Dark Souls is a moron. I think it depends on what you're kind of used to. I actually do find Sekiro easier than, like, Bloodborne, for example. Uh, but I think a lot of that just has to do with the, uh, the, the lack of a stamina gauge means... Uh, I guess there's still kind of the poise gauge, but still. Do we, do we find what we needed? Beachhead. Who's about the origin of the containers? But yeah, not having to worry about stamina helps a lot. Hmm. Do you think it'd be in here with these guys? Or something. But no. I will, I will continue to say that Lady Butterfly in Sekiro is complete bullshit. And definitely needs a little bit of a nerf. Holy shit, she was hard. The like Lord Ganichiro was so much easier. I don't know. Okay, where is this? I see no clues. I see nothing here. It's supposedly in this area. Uh, let's see. Well, let's get rid of my waypoint, because that's confusing. Yeah, maybe examine the collectible you picked up. I doubt it. Because that's just a machine blueprint here. Yeah, that's just the blueprint for the runner. Well, I was not really expecting it to explode in my face like that. Because I'd shot them previously and they did nothing, so I was like, alright. Well. I deserved that. Now is there... Did I learn or gain anything from that? 
No. I just shot it and it died. And then nothing. So let's go up here. Yeah, I did learn not to do it again. Oh. Well, we've got a giant freaking cave right here. Hello, giant freaking cave. What do you have in you? Uh, some terrain seam issues. This is probably just... Oh. My flashlight is coming from my penis. I'm pretty sure I've got a light dick. Oh, yeah. So at the end of the road, instead of going to down the other way, there was straight up a cave there that I just totally missed. Both times I went to this. <laughs> Fleshlight. I, yeah. Pretty much. Man, I was hoping we'd find, like, a, a secret, like, cave or something. Oh, I absolutely have a f have flashlight dick. But I have no idea how to solve this mission. Because I, I see nothing here. I... This really does go back to my desire for... Waypoints. Because this game isn't very hand designed. They really just plop things down. And... I mean, we straight up have reeds growing through the box. Could be like a look up situation that it could be like on top of one of these. Yeah, you really would have thought it would be in here, but no. Oh, the blinky red light from that one robot is still there. Maybe around the edge of the water? God, I hope not. Part of the reason why I haven't been checking is just because, like, where am I supposed to find anything here? It's like, you pretty much can't go into the water in this game. Let alone see anything. I We might be tall as shit compared to, like, certain props, but we're pretty short in comparison to water. Uh... Huh. Yeah, I guess we could keep going down the shore. We haven't been that direction. There might be something over there. I just... I don't know. I... <sighs> like, I don't want to be too harsh on this game. It's got some serious potential, but like... This is not a great state to release a game in, to be totally honest. Like, enough bugs that like... Bugs and design issues. Uh, this might be something. Nope. Just more survival gear. I was like, ooh, an encampment. And the answer is no. Just, well, yes, an encampment. No to everything else. We got a red punk jacket. Yes. Profile. Jacket. Punk jacket. Red. Okay, head. Uh, let's see. That forward gray, black, brown, green, brown, pink, brown, no. Military cap, green, gray. Seems like... Oh, there we go. Red, white. Perfect. I'm maximum red. I don't know why I'm so fixated on this, but like... Man, I don't really have a whole lot else right now. <laughs> Uh, 
Hello, random nook. What is the point of this? Does it make you go faster? I'd like to believe so, but I know I'm just lying to myself. The skyboxes are real pretty. I can actually say these skyboxes look better than uh, Satisfactories. At least uh, for the realistic stuff. Google the quest name. Game just came out a couple hours ago. Whatever, whatever is here, I, I don't know. I got, I got nothing. Let's see, are there are no objectives. There is an objective. It says find a thing there, and I can find no thing. But the objective is just to the general vague area. Like at this point, this game is Mankirk's wife repeatedly on loop. It's like, okay, go find the thing. Where's the thing? I don't know. Go look it up. I can't. The game just came out. Well, good, get cracking. I'm like, I just... I've never found Mankirk's wife. At least not in the old state of the game. I didn't, I didn't feel like it. I didn't know where it was. And I was just like, eh, whatever. It's fine. It's just one quest. Who cares? And so I chucked it out of my... I just chucked it out of my list and kept going. Because Baron's had like a billion other things to do. And so, yeah, it could very well be a bug. Don't give me music of discovery if I found nothing. I mean, it could have been this, but, like, that's bugged out. Like, I, I feel like the character really should eventually, like, if you walk past the thing, your character should spot it. You know, it's like, oh, well, there's the thing. But, no. And there's like a permanent fart coming out of this. It, it feels like it, whatever it was, it was supposed to be in here. I don't know if blasting it screwed me over. It might have. Log out, log back in. Ah, uh, I think doing that resets me to the last known location, though. Yeah, you know what? Screw this. It's not worth it. I'm not going... I'm not walking all the way back there. It's not worth my time. Like, Generation Zero is a really interesting idea for a game. But I spent five hours meandering around Tutorial Island. And, like, you probably could have packed an entire game on that one island. And I think that would have been a good idea. Like, I like the idea of some of these big mechs. I like the idea of some of this, but I think what they needed was very... Very, like, focused game design and levels. And, you know, use a small island or, you know, maybe not, like, that small of an island, but actually fill it with things to do. As opposed to, like, here is some copy pasta, houses, bunkers, and other stuff. And then... You know, more or less make the player go through it over and 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 over. Like the fact that I more or less did the exact same thing for five hours straight on one small island means whatever's on that big island can't be much better. And if it is, then, you know, I'll gladly eat my words, go back to it, maybe even see if I can do some multiplayer stuff. But like, oh, I, uh, I. It definitely needs quest markers for the amount that I was just flailing there. And I think, especially with a lot of the locations, they need to be smaller, more focused, and, like, directly hand-designed. Because I feel like, as it stood, they're just like, Alright, let's plop some dogs in this area. And it's like, alright. Kind of works. I, I don't know. I... I don't know. I prefer when games are generally either hand-designed or who knows... Especially when they're, like, big open world stuff, because, like, you really don't... Like, it worked for Skyrim, because Skyrim was one of the first ones to do it. And, like, it kind of worked for all the other Elder Scrolls games, because nobody else was doing open world at that time. It really seems like they intended it for, to be, to, for it to be played by three or more people at a time. I could understand that. Like, multiplayer would make this 
better, but I don't think it would have fixed a lot of the issues. It would have just had three people uh, clearing space a little bit faster, and, you know, obviously it would be fun because I could, like, make jokes and talk about stuff, but at the same time, I'd have two other people to make sure that we're equally entertained. And, like, I know if I'd played this with Shell, she would have probably enjoyed fighting the robots, learning some things, and then by the second or third bunker, she would have been like, I'm ready, I'm ready to quit. And I, I think that's about where I am, too. Like, I have a little bit more stamina for this sort of thing. But even then, I'm like, mm, I... I would rather go back and replay fi Fallout, or Fallout, uh, well, yeah, Fallout 4, or New Vegas, or 3, or for Far Cry 5, or, I mean, Far Cry New Dawn, which is new. Uh, like, when I'm playing one of these games and I'm dreaming about playing another game, that's usually a good point where you say, eh, never mind. And so that's where I am. I hope they actually do follow through and add more content to this game, because the gunplay is a lot of fun. The robots are fun to fight, and, like, the core gameplay loop of fight robots, clear out a small township, grab items, and leave, like, that's pretty good, but it needs... It needs more? It, ne it needs... Focus, direction, and, like, deeper content than just, like, well, let's see, three bullets, 30 bullets, ooh... There's some hats. Oh, wait, no, it's the same hat I've gotten a billion times. I I don't know. And definitely, definitely, like, more focused objectives. Smaller location? It's a lot of things. It's a laundry list. It's It sucks, too, because, like, I really did enjoy running around shooting things. I don't get to do a whole lot of, uh, yeah, 20 plus med kits. Uh, but, like, I don't get to do a whole lot of first person shooters anymore because they tend to be really short. And so I was actually kind of excited for this one, because, yeah, it seemed like there was a lot of things to do, and then it's like, no, it's the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, and so no matter how good your core gameplay loop is, it still ends up falling flat after a while. Box. I don't know. Maybe maybe they'll do, like, a couple big patches, and then I'll grab some friend friends and we can come back and take a look. Or if some friends say, hey, you want to play Generation Zero, I'll probably still say yes, because why not? But... I think this is going to be the end of this for me, me playing it solo, at least for now. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.